There is an important point regarding video cards to bring up. If you buy a 6700 XT now, a 6900 XT now, or a 3080 or a 3090, Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. Their usefulness largely starts when they were launched, okay. not when you bought them. When you buy them is irrelevant. How many of our viewers right now, just off the top of their head, are sort of mentally cognizant of the fact that those cards launched a year ago at this point. How many of a how many of them are cognizant of that? Do you guys realize those cards are all a year old now? Some, I would say thirty percent. And they're still expensive. Yep. I think a lot. I think I, this summer people were saying, "I'll wait for the forty series," and I'm like, "Well, that's a year and a half away." <laughs> now in October, I'm more like, "Yeah, if you've waited this long, maybe yeah, you should wait now." We're at the midway point. We're entering the end game. Yeah, but the problem with all the shortages is they might have worse availability than the, th than the 30 series. And so you might as well buy now or get nothing. I have several computer deals linked down in the video description below we'll talk about. Poll results. Oh, poll results. Oh. Uh, let's see. Do you like the walkthrough with the PC history? 85% yes said yes, and 14% said no. All right. 85% wins. You can spend an entire weekend just reading through CPU histories if you get interested in the different models and when they came out. Uh, and then the weird odd chips that sort of like, I'm willing to bet most of our viewers are not familiar with NextGen. Probably not. NextGen has a different name today. It's called AMD. Yes, I know, AMD didn't really change. They bought NextGen. But their K6 and their K7 were NextGen products. Their K5 was awful, and AMD CPU department back in the 90s was awful. They just couldn't design a chip to save their life. And so the reason they bought NextGen was because they got the chip design team that came with it. Mm. And I had a NextGen. And it was actually really good for the price until you ran into compatibility issues. Windows 95 torpedoed that. It was fine, except there were several programs that didn't work right. There were several games that didn't work right, just like the NHL hockey comment. Mm. A year later in 96, I ponied up the ridiculously stupid amount of money to buy a true, honest-to-goodness Intel Pentium. I was so freaking sick and tired of dealing with fussiness. It is what it is. Um, Fixed it? Yes. Made all the problems go away. That Pentium 166 was nice. And it should be for the thousand frickin' dollars it cost. Two cores? Four threads? It's a Pentium 166, my dear. <laughs> it wasn't even the MMX version. It was the P54C, not the P55C. The difference is the P55C is the uh, MMX version of the chip with double the on-chip cache and MMX. Instructions were that would have been even more expensive. They didn't, they weren't out yet by that point. It was early 1996. Just a little bit early, weren't you? I'm ahead of my time. The problem is, I'm only about an hour and a half ahead. <laughs> <laughs> hour and a half only, hey? Yes. Uh. <clears throat> Hunter says in chat he had a K6500. Those were good chips. Those were amazing chips. We sold tons of those. The K5s were junk, but the K6s were great. And AMD had a roaring business with the K6s. The problem AMD always had was clock speed ramp. And they always had to sell the chips for cheaper because they were competing with Intel. And Intel's superior process technology got higher clock speeds. They just, if AMD had been able to keep up with the clock speed department, they could have made a mint. Clock for clock, the K6s were really better than the Pentiums at the time, or the Pentium 2s. Could you imagine? Adam said his mom took out a 5K loan. Mm. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine taking no. out a loan that big? That's, I mean, that's a nice computer, but sure, why not? People oh. expecting a good computer to be 800 bucks are just, the 2010s warped a lot of people's minds. Either A, a lot of people were new in the computer business in the past 10 or 15 years, and, and 
that's all you know, and so you think that $800 is a reasonable price for a computer. It, it was for a brief while. I think that's gone for a while. It might eventually come back. I mean, obviously, over a long enough time horizon, who knows? Um, somebody actually just left a comment over on Bite Size Tech uh, yesterday saying that um, they were very uh, upset that I talked about the fact that the old prices weren't coming back anytime soon. And they're like, well, we just need to band together and refuse to pay these outrageous mm. prices these graphics card companies are asking. And we need to send them a message and show them they have to lower their prices. <clears throat> I see nonsense like that all the time. But I see, I see that in everything in the world. You know, w w cars, politicians, computers. Er people are like, we, we, need to, we need to make them do something. Um... talk about if this is going to be a problem it's not a problem people need to reset their expectations a lot of tech youtubers and a lot of the tech media is not pushing this because it isn't what the viewership wants to hear because it, it's oh what a lot of viewers want to hear is oh yeah those terrible big corporations are screwing you over man oh come on power to the people uh uh wait for the deals down with the nonsense do you want me to blow sunshine up your butt or do you want me to tell you the reality? The 200, 300, 400 R price points are not coming back. And if you're expecting them to either reset your expectations or go find something else to do because what I do think will happen is I do think at some point next year, I think we'll start to see the current cards that are at five and 600 drop to around 400. I think we'll see 6,600 XTs at about 400. I think we'll see 3060s at 500. I think the 6700 XTs will drop to maybe 700. You reckon that low? Well, they're at 850, 900 now. Yeah, they'll drop 100, 100, 200 dollars. Okay. When ETH goes 2.0, they'll they'll drop about 200 dollars. The uh, 3070s and 3070 Ti's will drop down to maybe eight, 900. Uh, 3080s will probably be 1200. 3090s will drop back down to 2000, give or take, maybe 2200. 6800 XTs will start creeping towards 1000. And I think that's where they'll stay for the rest of their useful life before they're replaced by the next generation RDNA 3 and um, uh, uh, Lovelace. The people who are getting them at MSRP from a Best Buy drop or directly from AMD's site are the lucky ones. And good for you if you do. But the volumes being sold at those prices, I think, are pretty small. I think most of them are going for much, much more. I mean, we walked into Micro Center the other day. Yep. And did. they had a whole shelf full of 6,600 XTs for 500 bucks, 6,700 XTs for 850 mm -hmm. and 6900 XTs for $1900. And they had all those 1050 Ti's for 300. They had 1050 Ti's for 300. They had uh RTX 3080 Ti's. They had a whole shelf. They did. They probably had 30 of them. RTX These are not scalpers. This is not eBay. This is Micro Center. $2000. That'll come down a bit. A little bit, but... But everybody waiting for a $1,200 3080 Ti is out of their mind. <laughs> Sorry. Come here because you want the unvarnished truth, not because you want sunshine blown up your butt. Better buy a console, yeah, if you can get one. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key 
activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.